out. I can't trust your cats. We're sick. All right. Good morning, everyone. Let's wait for more of our friends to come. You could come to my house and touch not my mom, my dad, or cats. But you could touch me. I can only touch yours. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, also you could touch my toy. Yeah. You're not sorry. I can't figure it out. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Dad, I can't hear it. I can make it hot. Ran outside, feeling so extra ecstatic. My mind is red. No, you didn't. You didn't. No, you don't. Then I hit take like touch you every time. Look, what's up? We're not doing it. We're not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He's reaching out to shake my hand. It's the best day ever. Best day ever. Best day ever.
And we will be moving on quickly. All right, I'm gonna sing the welcome song. We have to do our calendar because we have two birthdays this month. So it's very important that we do our calendar. So here we go. Show me your sign in when you're done. To our class, welcome, we're glad you're here. Welcome to our class, welcome, we're glad you're here. Hello, 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 hello to you and me. Let's see your sign in. Jacob, good morning, in our family. Here's a smile for you, a smile for you and me. Here's a smile for you. Let's see, Natanya. Moshe and Daniel, did you sign in? To our class. Thank you, Benny. Amazing. Welcome to our class. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Here's a nice high five. High five for you and me. Here's a nice high five. Who's high fiving? Emily, hi Manny, welcome. Shake, shake, a shake for you and me. Here's a friendly shake. Join in our family. Yes, welcome to our class. Avery and Ethan, good morning. We're so glad you're here to our class. We're glad you're here. Welcome. Welcome everyone. I don't know if you know, but you got uh, special birthday bags in your big bags. Does anybody know who they're from? They're from Natanya. Natanya's birthday is on Wednesday, so she gave everybody party bags because we're not gonna be able to celebrate in our classroom. So she gave everybody party bags. So later on, we will say very, a very big thank you to Natanya because she gave you all those birthday bags that you have in your uh, in your big bags that you brought home. So let's get started with our calendar. Okay, I'm gonna need everybody's help. Let's go. Sunday, Monday. Daniel, can you see your mom? Daniel, look at your mom. Your mom is signed on over here, Daniel. You can see her. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the week has seven days. Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Miracles, Quebec, Viernes, Sabado, Yomri, Shon. I can see you back there, Avery. Sunday, hi, Charlie. Yom Shani, Monday, Yom Shishi, Tuesday, Yom Rivi. Wednesday, Yom Kamishi. Thursday, Yom Shishi. Friday, Yom Shibi. Yom Shabbat. Yom Minucha. Who knows what day it is today? Carly, do you know what day it is today? I don't, so someone needs to tell me. Huh? Monday, thank you. Today is Monday. Excellent. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. There are 12 months in a year. Charlie, what month are we in, Charlie? <laughs> How about you, Coco? What month are we in? Who knows? I'm gonna unmute somebody. Somebody's gotta tell me, Benny. Month in in? April! Thank you, April, <laughs> that's correct. We are in the month of April, and if yesterday was April, let me see. Yesterday was April 26th, then today is April 27th. So I will write that down. Today is Monday. Can you see me writing Monday? April 27, and the year we all know is 2020. That's an easy one, very good. All right, let's continue with our davening. 
And on Wednesday, we can't wait. It's going to be a special birthday. So exciting. If you have an instrument, go ahead and play. Alice, bass, bass.
What's up, hi bunch? Twinkle, co shining in the shamayim. When you say Shema today, everything will be okay. When you say Shema tonight. Oh my gosh, hold on, wait right there. Benny, that is amazing. Benny wrote the date. I took a picture of it, Benny. Amazing. He has his own whiteboard. Wow. He's That's like a Mora. He is like a Mora. He's like better more than us. Way up high in the sky, there's a building still unfinished. Way up high in the sky, the McDush Hushley sheep. Cameron, that's from Natanya. Yeah. There's a building still unfinished. Moshe, Daniel, we can't see you. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds a brick to the mikdash. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds a brick to the mikdash. Natanya, we've missed you, honey. How you doing? Are you enjoying your travels to far distant lands? We hope you're enjoying your vacation, Natanya, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so this morning, we are gonna learn all about plants because spring is the perfect time to be planting. This beautiful book, and it's called Planting a Rainbow. And it really is so beautiful because the truth is that fruits and vegetables have such beautiful colors, it is like a rainbow. So let's get started. It is by Lois Ellert. Every year, Mama and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. Look at these bulbs. I wonder what they're gonna be. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. Look at all these different seeds that they ordered. We wait for spring because spring warms the soil and the sprouts start coming out of the bulbs. Here we have a tulip, a daffodil, a hyacinth, a crocus, another tulip, daffodil, hyacinth, and crows. Oh, I guess as they get bigger, they become even more colorful. Look at that. Then it's time to go to the garden center and select some seedlings. Oh, look at, they're buying all these different things. I wonder if they went to uh, Home Depot. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. Let's take a look at all the different things that they planted now. A tiger lily, a daisy, a phlox, an aster, a marigold, a zinnia, morning glory, cornflower, iris, fern, pansy, poppy, delphinium, carnation, violet, and rose. That is a lot of different flowers that they, that they planted with so many beautiful names. And then we watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. We have some red flowers, tulips, carnations, and a rose. We have some orange flowers, zinnia, tulip, tiger lily, and poppy. What's the next color? We have some yellow flowers, daisy, marigold, daffodils. Those are all yellow flowers. We grow something green. These are ferns and some blue flowers, morning glories, delphiniums, hyacinth, and cornflowers, and some purple flowers too. Crocus, phlox, iris, violets, esters, and pansies. 
All summer long, we pick them and we bring them home. Look at those beautiful flowers. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Now we have our own rainbow that I sent you, a rainbow of vegetables that you have, and they're on the table. And the, the thing about these vegetables is that each one of these is a different part of a plant. Each one of these vegetables is a different part of a plant. So we're gonna go through them up here to bring this a little bit closer. And we are gonna copy each word up here right next to the word. So this is the first one, and this word says seeds. Seeds. Seeds is S E E D S. Seeds. That's the first part of a of a plant that you have to plant in the ground, and that everything grows from a seed. The second part that we have here is a flower. The flower is what blooms and opens up. That's the flower. Then we have a stem, right? A flower always has a stem. A flower and a plant always has a stem. And it always has leaves. Right down here, it says leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. And then on the bottom, what grows on the bottom? Who knows what grows on the bottom of a plant? Who can tell me? What grows into the ground? Roots. If you said roots, you are correct. Roots grow in the ground. So if you were looking at a flower like this, the seeds would be on the inside. This is the flower on the outside. This is the stem. These are the leaves. And then you would have roots coming out of the bottom right here. Now, every vegetable that I sent you is a different part of the plant. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you on this paper what each one is. And then afterwards, you can eat them. I sent you some dressing. So you can dip your vegetables into dressing if you want afterwards. But I'm going to show you what each part of this plant is. So let's get started. Let's see if I can check this up a little bit. And put it down. There we go. OK, perfect. So here you have your paper with all the different things that are written on it. OK, you got your seeds. So sunflower seeds are seeds. And you know that if you plant sunflower seeds, you can grow a sunflower. I don't know if you knew that. So the seeds go over here by seeds. We eat these seeds. It says, I can eat a whole plant. So there are certain seeds that we eat, and there are certain seeds that we do not eat. OK, a flower. Did you know that cauliflower is the flower of a cauliflower plant? That's the flower part of the plant, a cauliflower. And broccoli is also a flower part of the plant. So the cauliflower goes down by flower. That's the flower part. Celery is the stem of a plant. It's the stem of a celery plant. And it grows flowers on top and it grows roots on the bottom. So this is the stem. So if you were going to make a flower like this, the seeds would be here in the middle. The flower would be around here. This is the stem. The stem would go there. I put the rest of the cauliflower out here so it looks like a beautiful flower. And then who can guess which are the leaves? Which, which vegetable did I give you that's leaves? Come on, guys. This is an easy one. Pick it up if you know which one it is. Pick up the leaves if you know which ones they are. Yay, Avery's got it. The spinach is the leaves, so we could put the spinach right down there, right on the leaves of the flower. That's right. And then, did you know that carrots are roots and you have to pull them out of the ground? That's right, carrots are roots and you have to pull them out of the ground if you wanna find them and eat them. And so the roots go right on the bottom of the flower, just like this. There you go. And now you can eat the whole plant, 
all this entire plant right here is all edible and you can dip it into your handy dandy salad dressing so this is a yummy vinaigrette and you can enjoy that for your snack now i see that a lot of you are already making your beautiful flour out of play-doh you can do that on your own time so whenever you want you can do that and you can uh yeah you can put it exactly like benny's doing it if everyone could see benny benny you want to show everyone your flower whoa that is so beautiful you can do that and then we also have here i sent everybody a canvas like this and some crayons so what we're going to do is we're going to peel the crayons so we're going to peel all the crayons like this if you guys I know we've done it in class. You guys became really good at it this year because we did a lot of uh, activities that involved peeling crayons. So if you wanna just peel the green crayons, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with them. So you peel each crayon. There should be a bunch of different green. Good, I see Jacob. Jacob likes peeling crayons. Good. We're going to peel all the crayons like that. Shouldn't be too hard. And we're going to make a beautiful canvas out of these. So peel each crayon. You guys peeling the crayons? Yeah. All right. I have three crayons already. Uh, peeled and everybody I think has seven crayons. I counted for everybody to have seven crayons because that's how many we need for each canvas. So peel your seven crayons and we're gonna make a beautiful flower canvas out of these. Oh, I see a lot of peelers, a lot of peelers. How you doing there, Manny? Good job. You always like this activity too, Manny. Manny likes this activity and Jacob and Avery. Amazing, I have two more left. How many do you guys have left? I got two more crayons left to peel and then I'm ready to do my canvas. I give you guys hard work, don't I? All right, peeling, peeling. Here we go. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. How are you guys doing? Moshe, are you guys peeling your crayons over there? Moshe and Daniel? Okay, so I have all my crayons peeled. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna break each one in half. So just break it, just like this, each one. And after you break them in half, you're gonna have 14 crayons. Because seven plus seven equals 14. And we have seven crayons. And if each one of them has two pieces, then we have 14 crayons. And that's exactly how many crayons we need to glue them right on the bottom of our canvas. So I'm gonna put glue on the bottom of my canvas. And I am going to put these all on the bottom of my canvas, just like this. If you guys aren't working as fast as me, that's fine. I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like. So I may be going a little bit faster. See, and it should fit exactly your 14 crayons on the bottom of your canvas, just like this. All right, how are we doing there, guys? I see some mommies helping, amazing. I see Daniel, great job, Daniel. You're doing it. All right, and then we're gonna put it right on the bottom of our canvas. I 
And the last part of this project that I'm gonna do, you guys can make this look however you want. You could color a blue sky, you could make leaves, you can do anything you want. What I sent you are these beautiful little flower gems and we're gonna put these on our stems. We're gonna put flowers all over. So I'm gonna pull this down again so you can see that I'm just putting glue and I'm going to glue them on. I'm gonna glue on my flowers and then like I said, you guys are welcome to do any kind of fun stuff to this canvas. You can make a blue sky up here. Here, look, you can make clouds in your sky. You can make some beautiful blue clouds for springtime. And then you can even make uh stems coming all the way up that could be your grass and this could be your stems just like this and then you can show your friends want to show your friends what you made all right so i'm going to unmute everybody how's it going over there so for those of you who weren't here when we first got on, I'm going to Oh, this one is the Yeah, oh, you want it towards the bottom. But it looks like a rainbow. Hey, you so put it down when I'm like... Uh-oh, this one is the bottom song. Yeah. Yeah. And then you want them really close together. They look like grass. I think the top of the crayon should be like that. Okay, I'll take it for a little. This is the last one. I'm going to put them all. Why not? Why not? I knew it. Show me your projects when they're done. Hi, Eli. Hi, Hi uh, Scarlett. How you doing? I want to see everybody stop. And if you made your flower, too. All right, everybody, let's start saying goodbye. Goodbye. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to unmute everyone. Let's start saying goodbye to our friends. Bye, so bye. everyone. I love you so much. Bye. 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 We miss you. Bye. And we love you so much. We hope you have fun with your Play Doh. Is that cool? We got Play Doh. Now look what we can do. You want to finish that one? Eat more glue. Glue these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glue. You can take this. You can all hear each other. Say bye to your friends. Bye. We love you. Take the glue. Tanya. Oh, I see the Tanya breaking your hands. Tanya. You only get two blue, colors. No. Have all your bags waiting for you, Natalia, when you get back. Okay. Oh, do you draw the clouds? Or something? I don't know how to do it. Yeah. 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 I would draw the clouds like. Can you see it? You don't like it. You're supposed to go like this. You can make it like this. All right, line them up. All right, everyone. I love you so much. I'll see you later on YouTube. I'll feel that. I'm Laura Moni. Love you. Can you do that? Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.
Let's sit down and play. Here's the glue. I brought the glue.